What's up, guys? It's Graham here at Crashtron. That's all my kids call me. Hey, guys. They watch too much YouTube. So, this is on YouTube. Anyway, so, what am I talking about here today? Well, it's the partnership between Shure and Crashtron and the IntelliMix Room software certified on the Crashtron Microsoft Teams Room platform. So, what does this mean? Well, we have a whole new platform certified. So, bringing together the Sure, and Telemix software that was launched a little while back with the latest generation Crestron Flex Microsoft Teams Room hardware and also ceiling microphone uh, array and also then ceiling speakers all on the network software to install very easy to set up and we'll take you through all of this as well so we have the MXA 910 we then have the Sure MXN 5WC for that network loudspeaker. We then have the software that you install on the Crestron uh, Microsoft Teams Room on Windows. And then we have that C100T, that Crestron Custom Series uh, Microsoft Teams Room. And it just means best of breeds. We've got the best Microsoft Teams Room and we have the best uh, audio technology here. And we bring it together in a nice conference room and again this can be put in different room sizes so small medium and large depending on what you want have a nice clear table for example everything on the network using all the great tools that you have uh, standard cabling so nothing special to run and it's so simple to install even i can do it so let's have a look and see what else we have here so we have the microsoft teams rooms documentation site and as you can see there are a number of different bundles so previously you've had the uh, sure intellimix p300 which is their hardware device that you install uh, plug it in and then connect up a table mic uh, the mxa310 which is what i'm going to be using today um, but with the intellimix software i can't install a ceiling mount microphone in my in my home here so uh, i've got the tabletop device but it's the same in terms of setup and, and configuration so as you can see uh, all the different certified solutions here and this is where we have the certified microsoft teams room based on the crash on hardware with the sure intellimix uh, room software so if you drill down a little bit further we can see we have the mxa 910 certified for microsoft teams of course and again available different uh, colors to match your environment for example different mounting options so all this is available from sure directly and then we have the intellimix room software we have the intellimix room software um, again, this is what you download, and there's two pieces of software to download. Uh, it's bundled in a zip file, IntelliMix Designer, which needs to sit on a separate Windows PC. And then you install the IntelliMix Room software on the UC Engine, and we'll step through both of those uh, scenarios. So again, get rid of all this old cabling, all, old setup, and making it super simple. And then finally, we have the crash one. Uh, piece of hardware so we have the microsoft teams room this is the windows 10 iot device and it has the, the system set up there all ready to go and then we have the 10 inch touch panel uh, on the table that can be a table or you can order a wall mount version as well so how do we get hold of the software well you can scroll right down here to the bottom on the intellimix room software and you can see I have a license or I need a license. So what you can actually do is get a trial license here. Uh, so you can test it out and see. So just pop in your details and hit agree and you'll create an account. And that will allow you to download the designer software and also IntelliMix Room. So once I log into the Sure portal, I can search for designer so I can get the latest version and I download that. So that will be downloaded. And then I can pop back and then in the search bar, just in the top right, I can type in, um, let's say room. And then that will filter me down to IntelliMix room. Now I will want to download this software on the actual Microsoft Teams room itself, or I download it here on my Windows desktop and I transfer via USB stick or file transfer. But the, the IntelliMix room software has to be installed on the UC engine or the Crestron uh, Microsoft Teams Room on Windows device and Designer needs to be installed on your uh, Windows PC. Uh, again, obviously it's 64-bit. Uh, and that is the application that will configure everything. So now I've got this downloaded, let's get it installed. So once you've downloaded the Designer software, you will unzip that and we will have a 
end user license agreement as the PDF and we'll also have the setup file. So we simply just need to double click and run as administrator the setup exe. So once we open the application, we simply click on next. And this is just doing some initialization in the background, checking that it's got some prerequisites installed, I guess. And now it's asking you to install this location. And also it will require up to nearly two gigabytes of space. So we want to install. And now there's a little pop-up saying it's installing the Shure system API. So now it's extracting all the files. So now starting the uh, services in the background for the Shure designer. Now you don't need to have this open uh, after you have installed everything. Once it's done and everything is set up, that is it. You don't need to have Shure designer running. You only need it open to make any changes. So we'll just click on finish and we'll launch the application. So when the application first launches, we have to obviously sign in and get going. So we can pop in our details here and we select start designing. So that's going to initialize now and you can see there is no projects available. So we'll just drag that over. That's the corner we have here. And so the first thing I want to talk about is this device. This is the MX8 uh, 310. You plug it in, power over Ethernet to power it up. So I'll just pop that into the connection there. And that's powered up and that is starting. So let's start our first project. So we'll select new project and we'll call this my home. And our location, it is also home. So there we have it. And we can see, you know, what online devices we have. So you can see it's not just there as yet. Um, that is just booting up at the moment. But again, you can also check your network. So again, you must be on the same network as all these devices. So when you do do this, make sure you are not in a mixed network. And as you can see, it detected a device. So it's seen the MXA, it's got its IP address. It's on the correct firmware version, etc. So again, I can now go back to my home and I can drag and drop. But what I want to do first is actually install the IntelliMix room on my UC engine. So let's hop over to my Microsoft Teams room now, and we will start configuring from there. So here I have my Microsoft Teams room. I'm using a remote tool to re uh, see this remotely. And let's just zoom in on the main display. So I go to my Windows desktop. So I go to settings, put in my secure password, and then I want to go to Windows settings. That's just behind me, Windows settings at the bottom. And then I want to sign in as the administrator. So we select admin and we sign in again with our secure password. So what we need to do now is, again, as I mentioned, download the Sure Designer software. But I've already done that. Uh, so it's already on this device. And let's go to our downloads. And you can see here I've got IntelliMix Room. Double click on there. And again, so I'm going to install this application. And the reason I want to do it together is because then I can import both the microphone, but also the IntelliMix room software, and then I will bring it into the designer software in that location and set up this room as one. So I don't have to do it in two steps. So now this is going to install. As I say, this is on the same physical network. They're plugged into the same switch. Um, so the UC Engine, the Microsoft Teams Room on Windows, is plugged into the same physical switch as the MXA310 and also as my Windows 10 desktop. So they're all on a flat network. And here we go. We are starting to set it up. Uh, we're going to install it in that location. Now it's asking me what network I want to put it on. So I want to select the Ethernet. I want the Ethernet adapter for the Dante audio. And you note there it cannot use Wi-Fi. So just because the device has Wi-Fi, you mustn't use it. Um, again, pressure on UC engines, they come with a direct connect adapter and that is for the touch panel talking to the device. So just a word of warning, follow the guides. And what can we get to the licensing database online with? So again, we're getting on through the Standard network, because that's what's routing out, and we install. 
So this will configure the uh, Windows options for you. Um, so I do not want to disable Windows Auto Update because again, Microsoft Teams room, I don't want it to, uh, I want it to leave it as plain as possible um, and just do what it needs to do. Obviously each application is slightly different, what you may want to do. I don't want to do anything uh, to my system because it's a lab, so I will control what I'm doing. And there we have it. It's ready to uh, install. So it's saying, remember, IntelliBox Room has automatically launched as a service, so you don't do anything. Uh, you sure design it to fully configure it. Um, so now let's restart the device, and we will head back to Designer. So while that restarts, we have Designer here now ready. What we can do is go to our online devices and just wait for that to appear in here. So once that MTR uh, restarts and it's uh, booted back up and signed into Skype, it then starts to service in the background for that IntelliMix room. Now I've got the splash screen, it's just starting up now in the Teams logo. There we go. You can now see it's found IntelliMix. There's a little warning by it. Uh, license error. So uh, we can license that as well. So now let's uh, initialize the devices. Initially, we'll put them in a ready state for configuration. Okay. Let's get ready and initialize. So they are ready to run now. So why don't we select them both and edit location and add them to our home location. Let's double click on home. Let me click on add. And how many channels you've got? I know that I've got that on my license. So that's now added to my location. So let's go to my project, go to home, go to home. So now it opens up a new window and you can now see that I have my devices here. So let's just pan this out. So it's found a processor, which is the IntelliMix room, and it's found the microphone. Now the two aren't connected, as you can see, they're both independent devices and I can just move that around so you can see that. So I have this button called Optimize at the top and it's pulsing. All I have to do is click on this to optimize room. So it'll create the audio routes between the software and the hardware. Turn on that mute, mute synchronization and adjust any audio settings. So I hit optimize and now it's configuring the uh, POE microphone, the 310, and also the IntelliMix room software. And it has created it. And that is it. That is done. That is the element there. Obviously, I need to go to my licenses. You'll be emailed your license. I can activate it. So what's my license ID? So I will put that in. I then tick the box once I've read that. So I put in my details and that will then activate itself once everything is connected. So we say OK and we are now ready to go. We have our system. We have our devices. We have our license ID. The only thing we need to do now is to enable the Microsoft Teams room to use IntelliMix as the devices. And just have a quick look in here. We can jump into the device and you can see all the goodness. Now, you don't need to do anything in here. This is all done automatically. So it's got the mic input uh, and if I mute it, you can see it goes mute. So you can see my mic input is moving. And when I just carry on talking after it's muted, it's not moving uh, there. And again, I've got the mute all button here. So that mutes everything as well. You've got some extra settings here. Now, obviously, there are some online courses for sure that you can uh, go and do and uh, learn everything from there as well. Details, you can see I've got my UC engine, question electronics, I'm on this network. Really, there's nothing to set up. It's brilliant. It's so easy. It, it, it's great. So you can tweak and play around with things if you want to do certain things. So obviously, the microphone array has a pattern. So um, let's just jump out of here. And if I go to the uh, microphone, so I'll double click on the microphone array, you can see the pattern of the microphone here. So um, again, what you can do, so if it's in a certain area of a room, you can select just certain areas that you want it to utilize. So you may not want it to use the whole circular area of there. So you can change the pattern. So again, omnidirectional, paroid, so again, just which area of the microphone do you want it to use? So just drag and drop it around. It's really that simple. So I've got it in front of me. So again, when you look at the device, you have the little short logo just on the microphone. So that's now facing me. That's exactly the same. So again, you just utilize where you want the microphone placed. 
So really nice and easy to, to set up and have this feature uh, on the microphone. And again, you've got all these same features, whichever sure um, microphone array you use. That is the IntelliMix. That's all there is to need to do in here. It's licensed, it's ready to go, it's configured. So what we need to do next is actually just jump back to the Microsoft Teams room. So here we have the Microsoft Teams room and we'll go to our more settings. Jump in there. Let's go to that screen only. And what we want to do here is go into our peripherals, which are just here. And what we want to make sure is that we have the IntelliMix software for the microphone. And I've got a Logitech Meetup connected here, as you can hear. So I still want to use that for the speakerphone because I don't have a ceiling mounted um, PoE uh, speaker here. So I'm going to mix and match. So microphone will come from the IntelliMix and the speakers will come from my USB connected peripheral. And that is it. That is my Microsoft Teams room set up with Shure IntelliMix room 